So most guys who get into the dating industry, they do it because they have lacked so much experience from meeting women in just their normal everyday lives. Maybe they just haven't been part of the right kind of social groups. Maybe they just grew up being very introverted and shy, whatever it may be. But guys who tend to lack a lot of the experience come into the industry because they want to accelerate that experience or maybe even going uh, one step further. They want to play catch up. They want to be on the same level as every other guy who is out living their life, whether it be through cold approaching or not, but just living their life and just meeting women very organically. And so I want to bring to your attention this theory of mine that I have, which I've called the pendulum of experience. And this is something that I have certainly gone through myself, and I will use myself as a story first of all, but this is something where I think guys need to experience the highs and lows of everything in life to really work out where that sweet spot is that they need to be to be living a happy and fulfilled life. So I'll give you a bit of my, uh, context for me personally. So before I got into pickup back in 2009, I was 21 years old. I was incredibly shy. Uh, I really struggled to hold eye contact with people and have conversations. I'd never had a girlfriend. I was still a virgin and I had experienced nothing and I had no idea how to even experience anything. So I was introduced to pick up and I got involved in it and I did everything. I threw myself in the deep end and because of that, I got to not just play catch up and experience every amazing thing there is to experience with women, but I was then able to, of course, kiss a girl, lose my virginity and have relationships, which was the main thing that I felt that I was always missing out on. And as time went on and being so involved heavily in pickup, I had developed too much of an addiction to it. It had also made me a person that I genuinely didn't like. You know, it makes you very cocky. It can make you very uh, narcissistic and sociopathic. And I didn't like it. And, you know, guys who meet me today, you'd never even guess that once upon a time I'd even gone to that sort of stage. But I did. And it was because of just certain personal experiences that I had which brought me out of that kind of person uh, or alter ego that I became. And it brought me back down to earth and allowed me to find this equilibrium of this guy who was a bit of both, someone who wasn't crazy obsessed with pickup or involved in it, but someone who knew and understood that you needed to do it to have a really good date in life, especially if you didn't have the kind of social life that most people uh, might have or what people who go up, grow up with very normal kind of lives might have. So this is where this idea comes into play that I think most guys who are uh, who haven't yet done pickup or haven't yet experienced doing day game or cold approaching, they're in this position of the pendulum. They haven't experienced what it's like to be with women or maybe even to go that step further. They haven't experienced what it's like to have women attracted to them or desire them or want them. And so all they know and all they've experienced is nothing. They have no positive reference experience to go on, which keeps them just trapped in this mentality of like, oh, well, it's impossible for me to feel, you know, these kind of results that other guys who've done pickup have done. So you'll get the guys who they have all the limiting beliefs, they have all the doubts, they have all the anxieties and worries, and maybe they just believe that they're incapable of meeting an attractive women. 
But then you get the guys who do throw themselves into it. They maybe give themselves a sabbatical experience from work or they understand the short-term and long-term strategies with learning cold approaching. And these will be the guys who then either go out and practice on their own or they'll go out and practice with a friend um, or better yet, they'll go to a dating coach for help. So they then throw themselves in the deep end. They accelerate their experiences and their results. And then maybe they get too obsessed with pickup, but they experience everything that they need to to play catch up on the things that they missed out on in life. And I think it's really important for guys to have the full pendulum experience, experience too much of something and experience too little of something. And for guys who haven't experienced anything with women or they haven't had girlfriends, they don't know how to talk to women and stuff, they should throw themselves in the deep end. They should go to the extreme of learning how to meet women and get all of the results possible with that. And even I'd say this same application can apply to other areas like personality. I think a guy who's very shy and introverted should experience what it's like being very extroverted and being very cocky and maybe even a little bit of a dick and narcissistic as well. You have to experience the full spectrum of your emotions and feelings to work out where that middle ground is. And for a lot of guys who then have gone from experiencing nothing with women to experiencing everything with women and having the ultimate dating life possible, when they then go back to reality and they go back to having maybe their nine to five job or spending time again with friends and family and stuff, and they don't want to be going out and approaching every day and you know they want to find that equilibrium this is that moment that they try and discover what works specifically for them and this varies from guy to guy just that what how many dates a week do they want how many hours do they want to be spending cold approaching do they even need to be carrying on with it afterwards like can they just be applying everything they've learned into their normal lives so they can maybe learn to socialize and have friends and meet women through just going to events or bars and clubs that way. But for most men, unfortunately, there's never some exact middle ground. There's always what I would call the compromise. And usually with the compromise, it never kind of leans more on the, the too much. It's kind of more on like the too little, like, they have to, if they're going to go back to like doing work and seeing, spending time with friends and family and socializing and having hobbies and interests and going to the gym and stuff, then you're not going to be spending as much time as maybe you'd like to with going out and approaching. You know, a guy who's got a nine to five job, he's not going to be able to be spending like five, 10 hours a day to go out and approach. He's not going to be able to go to that extreme anymore if he had that sabbatical experience. So in fact, maybe to even give more clarity. So when I say sabbatical experience, maybe a guy has taken uh, like three to six months off of work so he can focus on doing cold approaching. He wants to get really good at it. So he throws himself into it and he goes out five to 10 hours a day, every single day for those three to six months. So he, of course he'll get really good and really good fast, but he knows that he's not going to be able to maintain this. He needs an income, especially money coming in if he wants to afford going on dates and have a date in life. Because if you're going on like dates, let's say every single night, that's going to be really expensive. And for some guys, they'll be able to afford that. And for other guys, they definitely won't. So that compromise needs to come into play. And you might say, you know what, with all the skills that I've learned, I think for me, one date a week or two dates a week is absolutely fine. And especially if they are quality dates, girls that I've met when I've been going out 
and going on my way to work, to the gym, to my hobbies, uh, going shopping for food or back and forth and so on. The women that I meet through that, if they are quality interactions, maybe just a couple of dates a week is all you need to be happy. So this is something that I just wanted to get you to think about really. And bear in mind, you know, if you haven't yet got involved in working on your date in life or you are someone who is involved in their date in life and you're throwing yourself into it and you really, really want to get good fast, just remember about this pendulum. What is that sweet spot for you? What is that compromise that you can be bringing this new skill into your life, but not letting it consume your life? Because I think we have to make sacrifices for the things that we want. I know for me, for me to grow my business many years ago, I couldn't afford to have the date in life that I wanted. So I had to slow down with the dates because I was very heavily into pickup before I'd started my own business and had gone self-employed. And I had to compromise So I slowed down with cold approaching. I slowed down with focusing on dates and invested that money instead in my business. And then as that got bigger and it grew, I was able to balance it out and compromise with the time that I wanted to spend with doing my work to the time that I wanted to spend going out and cold approaching. And I found a sweet spot that works for me. So As you're trying to figure out the sweet spot that works for you, just bear this concept in mind. And also consider that it's actually very healthy to experience the highs and lows of everything. You know, I spoke about for guys who haven't experienced anything uh, in their dating lives, but what about the guys who are actually constantly able to have the best date in life possible? Well, if you take away their dating lives, if you take away the money and the lifestyle that they have, they actually become very humbled when they go from that to nothing or to that to very little. They very they feel very humbled to know what it's like now to have I don't know if a taste of their own medicine is fair to say, but to go from everything to nothing and to also go from nothing to everything you learn to appreciate all there is for every experience that you go through. So bear this in mind. I thought I'd share this with you. It's something that I always consider uh, in my dating life um, where I will want to throw myself in, but also I don't want to be doing something forever. I want to also balance that with other things so I can have a much more zen-like equilibrium kind of lifestyle. So I hope this was useful. I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. What kind of extremes have you experienced, whether it be through your personality, whether it be through your dating life or just general life, or have you experienced something very little? And how have you felt about maybe transitioning back and forth between those highs and lows experiences. Let me know in the comments below. But other than that, please like the video, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date on more interesting videos that I'd like to put out to help you with your anxiety and confidence.